Welcome back to the morning show. It's Wise Guy Wednesday, and our favorite mad scientist, Matt Sellen, is here to talk about magnets. I'm holding this whole bunch of magnets in my hand. What are we doing with them? Oh, we're going to do magnets, and what happens when you bring a magnet close to a wire when the magnet is moving? Okay. It's magnetic or induction of current. And we would have done this last week, but we were hot on baseball last week. That's so, right. That's right. right. Okay. So uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually, when we did the superconductors, mm -hmm. I had a demonstration where I had a big coil of wire. Right. And I had a little meter that measured the current in that coil of wire and I had a magnet sort of like this one and when I jabbed it in and out of that coil you could see the current kind of jiggling back right. and forth a little bit. So what that's telling us is that when a, mag a magnetic field moves through a loop of wire, current flows in that wire. And that's pretty interesting. That's how generators work and motors and everything. And we'll talk about how to generate electricity in coming weeks. But uh, I have some demonstrations to actually show you how this works. So first okay. of all, um, I have here a light stick. Let me just jump up on the table. Okay. You're not standing on your furniture at home, kids. Yes, right. <laughs> Okay. Especially not with your shoes on. Okay, so, okay, so what I have here it's in the interest of science. is a That's clear okay. acrylic stick, and at sort of equally spaced intervals on this thing are just little coils of wire that I got at Radio Shack. These are just little spools that have a very fine wire that's wound round and round many, many times. And then attached to each end of that wire is one end of an LED and the other end of an LED. So basically there's a little light bulb or a couple of little light bulbs attached. One leg of the light bulb is attached to one end of the wire, one to the other end of the wire. But there's no batteries or anything. It's just a wire and a light bulb. Okay. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop okay. one of these cow magnets. Cow magnets, yeah. that's right. These magnets are very good. You can do a lot of science with stuff you get at pharmacy. So here, I'm going to drop this. Oops. Let me turn this the other way. Okay. There we go. When I drop this, watch for the little lights to flash as the magnet goes down. So on the count of three, I'll drop it. One, two, three. Ooh, you saw it. Do, do you cool. see some of the lights? Some, yeah. some of the lights are broken, but some of them work. So you saw a few of them flash. Let me drop it again. One, two, three. <laughs> okay, so isn't that cool? cool? We that made light cool. that without cool. a battery. And so what really happened there was, as the magnet went through the coil of wire, a little current was induced. That little current made the LED flash. All right, that's and pretty neat. That's pretty neat. And what we're going to do in the, in the next segment is kind of the same thing, but we're going to do a different demonstration to illustrate it. And I'll give you a little tease right here. Okay. And this is something you can do at home if you happen to have a cow magnet. This is just a copper pipe. Oddly enough, I have some cow magnets. Oh, well, okay. here you go. Do you have a copper pipe? Uh, I'll find one. <laughs> <laughs> if you drop something through this copper pipe, which is not magnetic, like this piece of aluminum, it gets down to the bottom very, very quickly. Okay. It takes about, I mean, it just basically, it's the same as if I dropped it outside the pipe. It just falls straight through. Now, so maybe it's in there for one second or so. If I take a magnet and I drop it in the copper pipe, <laughs> so I'm dropping it now. Oh, it takes longer slow, to come yeah. through, yeah. Okay. And so it's for the same reason, and we'll explain that when we come back, and we'll do some more very interesting demos with magnets near copper. Okay, Matt Sellen will be joining us again.